continue with the rest of this frame and um, trying to lock down the arms etc I'm going to show you how I complete the actual landing gear because this landing gear is not complete as is um, there's the leg that needs to be added to that and the reason is that uh, the reason I don't want to complete this I want to mount the motors to the arms before I actually mount the arms onto the frame and uh, for that reason I am now going to remove these arms and they can become part of those and that I will show later so for now the next step is actually going to be me showing you how I complete these arms of the landing gear. Uh, now to complete them we need where they go these hooks um, T junctions or whatever you want to call these things. Let me just open this packet and I'm going to show you. Um, right I'm going to take out one I'm going to take a two. Now, yeah, you have to be very, very careful. You don't want to take out any of these recessed screws as part of uh, this dumping process because there's exactly six of them and they fall in there. Um, the packet's empty. And uh, I'll dump that one side. Now, let me just try and get hold of one of these little things. This is the 1.5 millimeter. And let's see if it fits in there. Perfectly. So, this little recess screw uses the 1.5 millimeter uh, hex screw head. Now, you're going to need three in order to mount this whole uh, the, the landing gear. You need one on this side. One on this side and one on this side that just locks down your uh, crossbar which is going to be one of these and um, there are four crossbars now obviously two of them are going to be for the undercarriage but uh, we're going to keep them one side for now because the first thing we want to do is just mount this T section. Now, you have to bear in mind when you do mount this whole thing that on which side do you want this screw? Do you want it on the outside on that side? Or do you want it on the inside? Now, I suppose this is all personal, but uh, I feel that this little recess screw I'm going to want to have on the inside. And um, there's no way of actually balancing or getting that in. I'm just going to drop this little recess screw back in this little holder. So let's add the second one. Now, there's no way of actually knowing when this thing is actually completely square. So it's, it's something you're going to need to do by sight or by adding the T-bars, which I'm going to do now. Let's just open this thing again. Right. Now, this, this, these T-bars actually consist of multiple parts. It's, uh, it seems complex <laughs> um, and it seems simple, but it's not as simple and not as complex as one might see. Right, that's the empty packaging. I'll dump that one side. Now the first thing you want to do is let's push them through here. They glide through fairly stiffly and you want to try and keep these fairly measured in the same area okay 
Now, one way you can do it is by either measure measurement. I'm going to keep these one side. Or, let's just try and keep those there. Okay, it's actually fairly loose at this stage. Now, the thing is, you can actually measure this and uh, retighten it, etc. It's, it's not a huge issue. So I'm going to take one. I'm just going to eyeball it at this stage. And I'm going to tighten it down. Firstly, on the sides of the, 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 the upper T-bar. Let me just get one of those screws. And again, that's a 1.5 millimeter. Now, because this is not metal on metal, it's uh, a plastic actually turning into metal turning into plastic. And it's just going to grip there. And I'm not going to tighten it all the way down for now because we might need a little bit of adjustment. Get another one out there. And obviously, do be very, very careful with these. There are exactly six, and <laughs> you don't want to lose these because I seriously doubt you're going to get more of them. Okay, so I'm tightening down that one. Now that actually grips onto this part of the uh, landing gear. And if I eyeball it a little like that, remember guys, this is the landing gear. It doesn't need to be incredibly perfect. Um, and if I eyeball it like that, that's pretty close. Right, so I'm going to keep tightening that down. I'm using my two finger rule, which says I'm going to tighten down as far as it is comfortable for two fingers to turn. And uh, yeah. Once uh, that becomes uncomfortable, you don't want to obviously turn this in that it breaks the, the carbon fiber, but you also don't want to leave it so loose that it flops around and falls off. It's currently still way too loose. It hasn't even started tightening. All right. Oh, there I can feel it start gripping. That one's fairly tight now. The next one. And there I can start feeling gripping. And there it's pretty tight. Right, there we go. It's not twisting around anymore. And that's pretty straight. I'm happy with that. Now, the last one you want to do is this one little hole on this side. And we're going to turn that one in. On there. Okay. All right, that's pretty much gripped it. And that's it. That's one leg. Done. It's gripped. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take these little rubber ends. Um, there's two for each side. But we also have these little blocks. It doesn't actually show anywhere on the instructions, but I would assume that those ends are going to actually close up the ends on our lower carriage. Right. Okay, so there we have our leg, one leg completed. It has been tightened down on all edges. This can't move back and forth. And we are going to put these end rubbers on both ends. These little end caps, we are going to save for one side because we're going to use them on the end caps as end caps for the undercarriage. They're just going to plug in there. They're not going to go into the, the landing gear. Right, so these just pop over there, and you can actually squeeze these in pretty tightly because they do go in fairly far. Um, right, 
there we go. And they've got a bit of rubberizing, it's just for landing purposes. Right, and that's another one. And that's one leg complete. Once this is mounted onto your bottom frame, it's going to be able to clip loose and there you go, that's one leg. I'm not going to record the entire process of doing another one because it's redundant and uh, if you've seen one, you've seen them all. There you go.